Hello and welcome to this lesson on key signatures and the circle of fifths. In the lesson on major scales, we learned that each major scale requires a different set of accidentals in order to create a whole whole half, whole 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 half pattern. So for example, in G major, one sharp is required and that sharp is F sharp. Since an F sharp is always needed, we can put that required accidental in the key signature at the beginning of the line. This occurs right after the clef and before the time signature, if there is a time signature. So in the key of G major, F sharp is always played, no matter in what octave, um, it's always in F sharp. There are a few consistent things about key signatures that you ought to remember. So for example, the accidentals in the key signature are always going to occur in the same order, and they'll also be in the same staff positions. So if you had a sharp key signature, the order of the sharps would always be F sharp or F C G D A E B. That is F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and B sharp. And the pattern on the staff is always going to be like a kind of zigzag pattern with two, then with three, then with two. So it should always look like that. Uh, you can also remember this as Foxy cheerleaders get dates after every ball game. I am really not sure if that's true but it helps me remember the order of sharps. The order of flats is the reverse of the order of sharps. B, E, A, D, G, C, F. That's B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, F flat. You can remember the word bead and then greatest common factor. Okay, and the flats are going to occur in just this pattern on the staff with kind of a line of four and a line of three up here. There's no other way to write them. Um, a few other things to know about uh, key signatures. Um, if there's a flat in the name of the key, then it's going to have flats in the key signature, obviously. Um, F major is the exception. F major has one flat in the key signature, but doesn't have a flat in the name. All of the other keys, with the exception of C major, which has no sharps or flats, all of the other keys are going to be sharp keys. So G, D, A, E, B, F sharp, and C sharp, those are sharp keys. They'll have sharps in the key signature. The best way to recognize key signatures is to obviously memorize them. And there are really aren't that many to memorize, but there are also some tricks you can use to identify them quickly, especially the ones with more, ac more uh, accidentals. So for sharp keys, the name of the key is always going to be a half step above the last sharp in the key signature. So in this key signature, the last sharp is A sharp. So a half step above A sharp is B. So this is the key sig signature of B major. For flat keys, other than F major, the name of the key is always going to be the next to the last flat in the key signature. So if we look at this key signature, the next to the last one is D flat. And so the key is D flat major. So this will work for all of the uh, sharp and flat key signatures. C major you should be able to recognize, and F major has a single flat. So we can't identify the next to the last one. So F major just has one flat, which is B flat. One way you can visualize all of the major keys at once and their key signatures is to use a circle of fifths. This also works for minor keys, as we'll see later. The keys going around the outside of the circle here are related by fifths. So if we go in a clockwise direction, we go up a fifth or five steps. C, D, E, F, G, G, A, B, C, D, and so on. Go up five steps, and each time you um, move up one sharp. So as you move clockwise, sharps are added to the key signature. Three sharps, four sharps, five sharps, and six sharps. Okay. And then moving counterclockwise, flats are added to the key signature. One flat, two flats, three flats, four flats, five flats, six flats. Mm -hmm. At the bottom signature, there's a few inharmonic keys. This one only shows one of them. It shows that F sharp with six sharps and G flat with six flats are inharmonic keys. They sound the same. There should also be an inharmonic key here, seven flats, which would be C flat, right? Same as B. And over here, an inharmonic key with seven sharps would be C 
C-sharp, which is in harmonic 2 D-flat. Okay, so and another interesting um, observation about the circle of fifths is you can see the same pattern of letters that we learned for key signatures. F, C, G, D, A, E, B, or Foxy cheerleaders get dates after every ball game. And then going this way, we have B, E, A, B, G, and then C flat would be there. So the same patterns are visible on the circle of fifths. Okay, so you can use the circle of fifths as a tool to help you visualize keys and uh, key signatures. All right, go ahead and take the quiz.